Good morning. So we are on to lesson seven, two now. Uh, yesterday we did seven, one, and I created three videos for zero and negative exponents. If you haven't watched those three videos, please watch them, especially if you weren't here, um, if you were absent that day. So seven, two is a new rule that we're learning. It's called the product rule. Product means multiply. So we're multiplying powers with the same base. So what does base mean again? It's the R, that's that base. That's the base, that's the power. Base and a power. So we're gonna learn how to tackle these types of questions. So there's some key ingredients here that I would like to discuss. So the number in the front has a very fancy name. So this front number is called a numerical coefficient, AKA fancy word for, hey, the number in the front. So first thing we do is check out, oh, this is a multiply problem. So when we have numbers in the front, in this case, we have a four times a three, the first thing we do is multiply those two coefficients. So four times three is 12. A multiplication chart might be helpful to some of you. So our new front number is 12 because we did exactly as it stated. Four times three is 12. However, these like bases, they're both R. Think of R as like a rabbit. Let's say you're outside in your yard and there are three rabbits out in the yard and you see them, one, two, three, three little rabbits. And then two more rabbits come hopping in your yard. How many rabbits do you see? You have three rabbits, you got two more rabbits. How many rabbits are there now? Five, yes. So our new answer, our simplified answer, using the product rule, the multiply rule, is 12R to the fifth. Now these notes have been posted on Canvas, and I also obviously gave a hard copy to every kiddo that was in class. So if you're at home, definitely print this, because these are your in-class notes. There's also a separate homework worksheet, and that one will say homework in here instead of in class. So what do we do? We multiply the front guys, and we add our exponents when they're like bases. Three plus two was five. Let's try that one more time over here. So we have multiplying two terms here. Let's multiply our front numbers. Three times four is 12. And then we have like bases again. So I have one X. Remember, if we don't see the exponent, it is allowed to be an invisible one. But if you're a visual learner like me, write that in, okay? So we have one X, and then someone handed me three more X's. Think of X as something you can relate to in the real world, like an Xbox, right? That video game thing that people play. So I got one Xbox. Somebody else has three Xboxes. How many do I have all together? Well, if you have three and someone else had one, how many is that all together? That's four. Because like bases, we add our exponent. So we're gonna have x to the four. Now, you can have a little dot there if that makes you feel fancy. A little dot there. Now we have some more. Let's give these a try. Now, I see that he has a coefficient of three. What would the coefficients be that are here that are allowed to be invisible? What coefficient, what front number is allowed to be invisible? If you said one, I agree. So the first thing we do is multiply our front numbers together. Three times one times one. And if you wanna put that over here, so you can see like things together, not a bad bet. And if you wanna put all the Ks together, It's kind of the same thing you do when you're cleaning your room, right? You put the shoes all in one pile, the wet towels in one pile. Why do you have so many wet towels in your room? Pick them up in the beginning. Uh, the clean clothes, why are clean clothes on the floor? But that's a whole nother story. Random forks or spoons that are in your room, why are they in your room? I am a mom, that's always so frustrating. But anyways, we separate into these like categories when we're cleaning, I do, even when I'm putting the dishes away. I grab all the forks, put the forks away. I grab all the plates, I put the plates away. I grab all the cups, I put the cups away. I'm not doing it willy-nilly. I'm like terming things, because that's what we do naturally in the real world. 
Same thing if your mom, dad, auntie, uncle, mama, papa, uh, whoever you live with said, hey, go dump all the trashes, and maybe there's six trashes in your house, you're not gonna do six trips out to the big trash can. I do the big trash can in the kitchen, and then I grab all the small trashes around the house, put them in the big trash, and then I have one bag to take out because I'm combining all those like terms, like trash, into one trash, okay? That's a long story for no reason. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the coefficients together and let's multiply them. Three times one times one is three. Cool. And now here's all of our like bases. K means they're the same base. Now, if these were kangaroos, how many kangaroos? Make it something you can relate to, like K for kangaroo or K for kisses. Okay, I'm gonna get lots of kisses from my grandbaby. So um, make K something you can relate to. So if there were three kangaroos and three more kangaroos joined the gang, and then zero kangaroos came by, how many kangaroos is that? Right, it's six. Six kangaroos. Now, what you can do is just add all of these exponents. Three plus three is six. Six plus one more is six. Three K six is your final answer. And just put a little dot there if you'd like. Let's try this one. Like coefficients, well, these coefficients go in the front because coefficients go together. And then we have our variables that have like bases. So we have four times four is 16. And then we add our exponents on these. And again, if it makes more sense to you to make it like a real life situation, like X's are, again, X boxes, because I can't think of anything else. Uh, you have two X boxes, your, your friend hands you four more X boxes, you have six X boxes. And if it makes you feel comfortable, go ahead and throw that dot in there, might as well. So I'm gonna stop the video here and I would like you to try questions five and six by yourself. And I'm gonna start the next video at five and six. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna stop this video now. This is seven, two, part one. And we'll see how many parts this, this makes. Okay, have a great day. Thanks, see you again.